These beloved sculptures of three wolves were a picture perfect spot for visitors to the Columbia College campus. Now you see them. And now you don't. The sculptures were placed by piles of dirt and twisted metal after they were bulldozed without warning. CBSU's Eric Cox joins us live from Columbia's campus. And Eric, apparently this all happened because of a miscommunication. Good evening, Brad and Erica. What was once a destination spot for tourists is now a demolition site. And it's all because of what's being described as an internal breakdown. A tourist magnet for over 20 years. This cement sculpture of three Livonian wolves situated at 11th and Wabash in the South Loop, attracting all kinds of attention. It seems like your work touched a lot of people. So many photos online. Yeah, I love that. It was fun to see so many people taking pictures of themselves with it. Ellen Nasvik says she created this work of art she calls the Leaping Wall for Columbia College Chicago in 1993. You know, welded the armatures, the planning, putting together the forms. The entire process taking over a month to complete. It was a lot of work. Now, Nasvik's work is no more. One of three sculptures destroyed earlier this week when the college started construction on a new outdoor space. Instead of being really sad about it, I guess I'm really happy that people enjoyed it for as long as they did. A Columbia College representative tells CBS2 the college did reach out to some of the artists involved and also inquired about the possibility of relocating the pieces. Regrettably, as these attempts were being made, the sculptures were not salvaged as part of the demolition due to some internal miscommunication. Were you ever notified by the school? Was it no one from the school tried to contact me directly. A new home could have been found for it. A new home, no longer a possibility. You really don't notice it until, unfortunately, it's gone. Steve Weaver is executive director of the Chicago Public Art Group, a nonprofit that's produced hundreds of art projects in the city. What comes to mind when you find out that these things are being destroyed? Oh, it's it's just a loss for the city. It's a it's a loss of our history, of our culture, um, and and really, it's it it can't be replaced. Can't be replaced. But Nasvik believes the school should offer up another opportunity to create something special for Chicago. I think that they should commission you know something new from the artists that they took down. Well, Nasvik now lives in the state of Idaho, but says she'd be more than willing to return here to Chicago if it meant she'd have an opportunity to create some more works of art. Meanwhile, a Columbia College representative tells me that the new space will feature a platform for performing arts, but they wouldn't confirm or deny whether or not any new works of art will in fact be commissioned by the school. We're live in the South Loop tonight. Eric Cox, CBS2 News. Okay, Eric, thank you.